to the daily grind thanks for checking out the channel make sure to hit subscribe if you're new and hit thumbs up if you're not a baby back bagel biting bitch boy because you know what time it is it's full time mma big dog darren till <laughs> i'm just fucking around i what is darren till's fucking nickname yo i don't even know if he has one because Anytime I think Darren Till, no nickname comes out. I mean, you know, when you think Robbie Lawler, Ruthless, Tyron Woodley, Cho you know, everybody's got a fucking nickname, but for Darren Till, I just don't know his. I'm actually probably gonna have to pull that up while I'm doing this video because that's kind of bullshit that Darren Till doesn't have a nickname and he's such a fucking bright prospect, exciting prospect. Like, you know, all this talk about, and, and let's just get into the video while I look up this fucking dude's nickname. Darren Till is continuing to call out Wonder Boy. Darren Till, not just call out Wonder Boy, but he wants to fight with Wonder Boy. He's like, yo, I want to fight Wonder Boy to show that I'm the most elite striker in the division because that's what Wonder Boy is kind of billed as right now. But Darren, but Steven Wonder Boy Thompson's daddy won't let him. And this is very interesting because when you hear about people calling out people in the welterweight division you hear a lot of call outs for rda he's a marked man right now everybody wants to fight rda especially with the win over robbie lawler even before rda though people were calling out robbie lawler you had mike perry you just had a lot of people calling out robbie lawler one person you don't hear very many people call out Steven Wonderboy Thompson, and that's because he presents so many problems for so many guys. He's got a very unique fighting style not many people can deal with, and that's why you saw when Tyron Woodley did beat Steven Wonderboy Thompson, it wasn't the most exciting fight, although Tyron Woodley had more success versus Steven Wonderboy Thompson probably than anybody to that, you know, to date, because... Tyron Woodley had to fly in, spend hundreds of thousand dollars on the training camp and fly in karate experts. Not not everybody can do that. So you don't hear many people calling out Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. But this young undefeated prospect Darren Till, Darren Big Dog Till, I'm looking up his fucking name, I'm telling you right now. Big Dog's got a ring to it, but I know it's a little cringy. So we're going to find his actual nickname. And if he doesn't have one, we're giving him one. But with that being said, Darren Till, a young up and coming prospect. Yo, when you hit these prospects that come up, the Mike Perry's, you know, Mike Perry was calling out Robbie Lawler. Mike Perry said he'd fight a lot of dudes, but Stephen Wonderboy Thompson wasn't, you know, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson just isn't the name that usually comes up with any of these guys that are calling out fighters. But with Darren Till, it's the opposite. Darren Till, that's almost the fight out of all these fights Darren Till could have. That's the fight he wants the most. And he's like, yo, I just want to prove that I'm the most elite striker in the division so I can get my title shot and move on to these other titles. Darren Till's got aspirations on becoming the middleweight and light heavyweight champion on top of the welterweight champion. But first, he's taking his time. He's like, I'll beat Wonderboy, become the best, let everybody know I'm the best striker in the division. Then I'll beat the champ or maybe one more fight. Darren Till's just a fucking young confident dude and by the way i'm on suredog.com right now and darren till does not have a fucking nickname big dog darren till coming through i mean that's that's what it is for now man because that's pretty unfortunate darren till so much potential so much promise ain't even got a damn nickname you know it's got a ring to it so that's something we're gonna have to get on but with that being said this is what darren till had to say on the mmar this monday he said his daddy won't let him I don't know why Thompson won't take the fight. Maybe I've jumped a few spots, but so what? If I am whatever they say I am, why won't he just fight me and knock me off my perch? If they think I don't deserve the shot, then come to sh then come show me that I don't deserve it because I know I do. He's looking for the title again, but he's been beat twice. Now he's moved on to RDA. He knows he's going to beat RDA because I feel like Wonder Boy could really hurt RDA. Me and him could really make a great fight. I've got a chin. He's got a chin. I know I can knock him out. I know for a fact that I could knock him out if I fought him. It's because he's a world-class striker. That's why I want to fight him. His striking ability is so good. I know with me coming from a Muay type background and him coming from karate i can nullify everything he does and prove that i'm the most superior striker in all of ufc i know that let's fucking go hey bro i'm telling you i need to see this fight and look how can you not love this call out this is not a fucking guy that's trying to call out an old and beaten up and battered opponent he's calling out a top welterweight elite striker in his prime he's not calling out donald cerrone he's not calling out robbie lawler he's not calling out a smaller rda he said yeah i know i'd knock all those guys out but i want to fight the best how can you not fucking love that yo and and, and as he said wonder boy's dads said no it doesn't make sense we want to fight up that fight doesn't make what the fuck is there to fight up to what 
Woodley? You already fought Woodley twice. Are you trying to fight up to the number one spot? And then what? Just sit there until Woodley dies? I don't fucking get it. What, what, what's the plan? Woodley Wonder Boy 3? No. Wonder Boy... This is, and I'm going to elaborate on this on this video because it's specifically about Wonder Boy. I didn't want to on that other video. All right, Wonder Boy says, or his team says that Wonder Boy wants to fight up. It doesn't make much sense to fight these upcoming prospects, you know, that don't have as big of a name. So now if they fight RDA, you know, they've, they've called out RDA for like a March showdown or something. Okay, so here's my question. Let's say you beat fucking RDA and become the number one contender. Who's next? You're the number one contender now, Steven Wonderboy's team. Who's next? Is it Woodley? Or now can now do you start fighting down? I literally don't get it. And and, and as Darren Till said, this if you don't believe Darren Till's as high of a level as Wonderboy, if he's not on his level, knock his ass out for the quick payday, you know what I'm saying? Because you're not going to be getting a title shot anytime soon, so why wouldn't you take this payday? We've seen that with Fabrice over Doom. Okay, I'll fight M M Walt Harris, I'll fight Marcin Tibora, even though it's it might not get me to closer to a title shot, I'm going to take these paydays, because I ain't getting a title shot anytime soon, so what's up with Darren Till? That's all I'm saying. I want to see Wonderboy versus Darren Till, and it's not because I want to see Darren Till make a name off of Wonder Boy. I actually believe if you were going into the fight today, I might lean toward Wonder Boy because he's a very elite counter striker and Darren Till, as far as we know, is a striker even though I feel like he's very well rounded and that will come to show. It's not like we're worrying about Darren Till coming in there and submitting Wonder Boy. It's not like we're wonder worried about Darren Till coming in there and wrestle fucking Wonder Boy. No, we're Darren Till's coming in there and throwing fucking bombs at you. So if you can counter him, go ahead. But if not, someone's going fucking night night and Darren it might be Darren Till. Take his zero. Take all of his hype. Or or fucking go to the number one spot and just chill there. I don't know. With that being said, man, it is what it is. Can't wait to see Darren Till's next fight, even if it's not fucking Wonder Boy, because I would honestly watch Darren Till versus anybody. It's just, I'm ready to see this dude. I mean, he's confident enough. I'm ready to see him start moving up the welterweight division, maybe getting his title shot in a couple of fights, moving up the middleweight. I mean, light heavyweight's a little stretch. I know he really feels like a motherfucking light heavyweight. That's why I had to bring back up that meme, because it was so epic. And, and Darren Till, Darren Till posted that to a Twitter, what, a month ago when he said he wanted to, like, right after his fight with Donald Cerrone, I think he wanted to fight Wonder Boy, and that's when Wonder Boy's dad originally came out and said, yeah, not so fast, but with that being said, it is what it is, man, I've said enough on this video, Darren Till versus Wonder Boy, question mark, matchmakers, can they make it happen, I don't know, it might not up, be up to the matchmakers, because Steven Wonder Boy Thompson, man, I, one thing I do gotta say is, props to his dad, because I wouldn't want my son or my nephew getting the octagon across from Darren Till either, you know what I'm saying maybe he's just doing the right thing forget what everybody says yeah you know this is the fight game and you know sometimes you do got to step in there and save your son you know it is what it is man I would do the same thing but I mean my nephew's only seven years old so maybe it's a little different who knows it is what it is man let the full-time family know what the fuck you talking about in the comments I'm out <laughs>